my advice, my advice to the to the sisters who come here. Let me tell you something, sis. Don't be no hater, be a congratulator. Every man has a right to look. They eyes are meant to look. Men are visual. So don't be getting jealous and stuff when a man be looking at big old booty girls and stuff out here in Africa, because that's what you're going to see. When you come to Africa, it's plenty of big booty girls out here. And let me tell you something. They are trained to serve their men, whereas in America, the men serve us. But let me tell you, you're going to have a rude awakening coming here to Africa, and you're going to see the men getting served like kings. Trust me, y'all better get ready for it. But what I will tell you, word of advice is, why don't you just, you know, join allies with these people? You know, your man from Africa, and then any kind of woman he got, won't y'all just join allies? And y'all just get this bread that's being that that needs to be getting uh getting out here. Y'all just get this bread, make this bread together. Don't be no hater. Let's unite, okay? And the best way to unite is to come together as a people. Stop hating on one another. If he already sent somebody, still unite with him. You know, you might be able to get something great out the deal. Who knows? Don't 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 throw him up under the boat just because he got somebody. You don't know what that man's situation is. But just work with the situation. So what I'm trying to tell you right now is to just join allies with your brothers and sisters on every level. And let's get this bread out here, y'all. Peace and love. Africa for the Africans. Wow, that was a direct message. Uh, under a minute and a half. Wow. <laughs> just family. Our sister is sharing sharing so she's live on uncut um, and the rest of us are just in the background so she got some wonderful advice for her sisters um, and how to transition into a different society and this is tell me, is it based on experience it's based on experience I can't hey. I can't do nothing but tell you based on my experience you know before I came to to Ghana uh, my first time here in 2014 my son's father introduced me to Ghana and told me, listen, when you get to Ghana, don't get jealous. Because when you go, you're going to see all these women serving me like a king. Please don't get jealous. I mean, when I tell you he had every single pussy from every age, I was like, no, please, like, it, stop, no, help, no. But what I had to do was find a way to join him. So I became allies with these people. And I became more so on a mentality of uniting with them because at the end of the day why hate on them we all trying to get somewhere in life we all trying to make it and we all need that bread so i ended up getting all the women that he had and i just made them serve me too so why they serving y'all y'all gonna serve me too so let's 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 get it y'all so i'm just letting you know don't you know, don't hate if you see them serving your man, make them serve you too, okay? That's what you do. Wow, that's some some wild, that's some smooth pimp game. Yeah. I had to get served too. I had to tie my shoes, carrying my baskets, ironing my clothes, cooking, cleaning. I didn't want them to scrub my back because uh, I ain't with that. No, 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 no. I'm strictly dickly. So, uh, but... To make my man happy, I made them serve him in every kind of way, if you know what I mean. Wow. So. That is deep. Yeah. So, yeah, and they will do it too. Trust so, and believe that. They will do it. Some may say that's like TFI, too much information. It might be too much information, but listen, this is for the raw and uncut uh, <laughs> conversation. So, if you can't handle the real, you know what to do. Please. Lord have mercy. Okay. That is um. Huh. Ooh, yeah, that's uh, very deep. That's the IJC donating a laptop. This laptop to us. This brother is so happy that this sister donated one little broke ass laptop. He act like he ain't never had no damn laptop. Somebody help him, please. If I if I show y'all how this laptop look, how broke it look, y'all. This nigga is so happy. Like, look. Look how broke it is. It ain't even no new, no new laptop. See, with a, with a woman like me, you can get a brand new one and you play your cards right. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey y'all, y'all better teach this brother no, something. Can wear some but clothes. anyway, wear, he wear, got a long way to go. Can wear contacts. We've made contacts. You know, teach the youth them. We've made contacts with people like you before you came. You knew the situation on the ground. You know, for money, you know, you know, home. We are, we are not rich. You know, home. How my name get so into this? So this is the best thing you ever had, right? No, 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 no. How my name get into but this? The way how you brandish and promote this laptop, you act like this the I'm best thing you ever had, no, bro. She, she donated it to us, the team, which we are wearing. That means there were people ahead of people. I thought you said she donated it to a different organization. No, to us, the team. Okay, okay, I got so you. To us, the team. Okay, okay, okay. So we've been south of the family, coming to contact with people like you before. So what happened to that situation? Yes, because we are not, they weren't my kind of woman or marriageable material. He didn't say I love you quick no, enough. No, no, he didn't, say, he didn't say I love you quick enough. No, they were you, indecisive. You, you, you hesitated. No, they were indecisive. Did you say you love her? They, they were in Africa for a day, but they didn't know, <laughs> they didn't know who really they were for. But she was both to point that you are the one and still stick to that. You get it? That's what makes yeah, it Yeah, that's just who I am. Yeah, I'm just too damn real for fun. Because woman is still, <laughs> is still Russell, you know, that's what she but you just gave the identity. See, with me, when I get one dick, that's all I need. I don't need no other dicks. I just need one. That's it, okay? Now, I ain't gonna lie. I might let somebody rub on me and stuff like that. But when it comes to, you know, doing Uchi Coochie, you ain't gonna get none of this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Too much information. Uh, but raw and uncut again. It's raw and uncut. If I can't keep it real and be myself, then you know what to do. So, family, you are, this is Bomani after dark. Even though it looks bright, it's literally after dark. It seems like Cat got your tongue. What happened to the conversation? We was having a good conversation. Uh, before Bumani, before I met Bumani, I'd come in contact with a lot of African American. Yeah, but we was talking about this this woman that, that got you, like your head is gone, bro. Like you ain't never had no... Now he reminiscing and showed all the good pictures and all the good times. Yeah, I just wanted to meet Samia. Okay. Yeah, but Samia wouldn't make it possible. It's so easy for her. Did you tell this woman that you love her in order to get this laptop? <laughs> no, yo, no, this is wild, I yo. To meet I no, how did you get this, bro? Did you do something with her? What did you do? Actually, I, I wanted to marry her, but you told her that, right? She's already now, to now, 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 now. Hold on, I need you to keep it all the way real, okay? Because if you're lying, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I told her I wanted to marry her. She's like, how long did it yes. take you to? Keep yeah, use secret names. Use secret names. How long? <laughs> how long did it tell? How long did it take you to tell her you um, that you want to marry her? Like when you first met her, from that time to what time did it take you to say I want to marry you? Yeah, so I can say there was a, a period of one year. What? A period of one year. It took one year for you to yeah, tell her but, that you want to marry her. But, but weren't weren't so much in physical contact. Was, but you told me in one day that you wanted a baby for me and you wanted me to be your wife. Woo! Yes, because, one day. Oh, so uh, you one of them kind that tell operator. women in 24 hours that you love them. No. To get I, what? When I, when I met you, I was like, But how no. much money have you got out of me? That's some well, fast no, movements. This, hey, this, how much money? When I met you, I was like, this, 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 this is my kind of perfect woman. You know, this, this, the one I've been looking for. And you're probably like, you tell all the girls that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really, I, I really was down for Panisha, but she, um, I listened to a presentation. There was a conference. I listened what to presentation? A, you, you know, you were the group presenter, a group presenter, and you know. At Paloma, at the yeah, Ministry at of the Future. Yeah. Okay. So, it was like a PhD course, and so I spoke. I could, I okay. could observe a woman, you know, and know who she was within. In a, one day, bro. Like in one day. In an hour. 
I didn't even give you no coochie or nothing, and you was like, Yeah, because I could. So, tell how did you know that you was gonna get hooked on phonics like that? Because I want to talk to this woman, and she's like, Yo, can I also talk to you? And I'm like, This is only the woman I want to talk to, and she also want to talk to me. I want to talk to you too. And she's like, Can, 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 can we sit down and talk? Because I want us to talk for length, and you know. And I'm like, okay, okay. Then I after, did after, want some young dick though, because I am older than you. <laughs> I did want some young dick. You conference. know, I'm like 15 years older than you. So. No, eight years. It's only eight. Oh, eight years? <laughs> only eight years. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, but when I see you, I was like, you cute and I want some young dick. I, I did think like that, so let's well, just keep it real. Some yeah, you know that I was like, yeah, 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 you a young you a young one. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you were like uh, too young, you know. I was beside, too young? Beside you, you, or you was too young. You really look younger than your age, you know. Okay. The age you called. I'm 46. Yeah, and I'll call 35 for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you, you only what? 30 what? 30, 35? Uh, 36? You're a little youngster. October. Yeah, so I'm uh huh. Uh huh. So that's what I saw, bro. I saw someone yeah, but, uh, who's broke but has a dick. Yeah, but I saw someone who was young. Wow. But thought it was old. Okay. 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 I was also. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I knew you could put it down, bro. And, that's why and, I was like, and, yeah. And when she she was like, yo, I got my first baby when I was fourteen. I was like, whoa, the bad the bad type. To be better around 14, that means you are too bad. But, but I was hooked on finance to one man. He's the one who walked out on me. He walked out on me when I was 14. Yeah, but you know. Uh, but have, if, but had, even, had even he stayed, I would have still been with him still today. Yes, yeah, but to have sex around 14, it's kind of too early. It is too early, but yeah, I'm glad so. that I had my babies early. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad. Yeah, so. And I'm a grandmother of a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. so. You make me like uh, a seven-year-old father. And still know how to drop it like it's hot, okay? So you, made me, you, made me too, you made me look too bad when you made me a seven-year-old father. You get it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, that's like too bad. You know? okay. But it's all about badness. So, yeah. yeah, that's what that's what Rasta is. Yeah. Bad so you made, me, you, made me, you made me turn seven, grandfather, and said so. So, 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 you telling me some women, when you lay your eyes on some women, you know immediately whether or not you want to have a baby for them, baby with them, as and mean, you want. As you mean, she's she's forty six, she's forty five, and she doesn't have a baby. And I'm like, yo, you messed up your past because yeah, how can you make baby around this time? What were you doing around twenty five? What were you doing around ten five? And when she says, oh, I'm forty five, but I have. Two children, then I'm like, oh, okay, at least you've got some seeds. Yeah, but she says, like, I have three, uh -huh. four. And when you're know, 45, you don't have a child. What were you doing? Pro probably were prostituting. You know? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I can't speak for them. Yeah, so there were some, some other factors that last I had to consider. Okay, because I want a baby. You have experience too. So you saw me as a baby maker? Not a baby maker, but somebody who was oh, still wow. fertile. You know? As fertile? Yeah, I'm very sure. fertile, yes. Yeah, but they know some people looking at 40 in their months. Yeah, yeah. and as a matter of fact, for the record, I am two and a half months pregnant. Yeah, so I'm sorry to bust your bubble. You're fertile. Sorry, yeah, but I am pregnant. Yeah. So By fertile. this young man right here. Yeah. He got me pregnant, but I'm married though. So he did what he came to successfully came to do. Okay? Yeah, because if you if you want a woman, you must do everything he did that. together. Only thing I can say is congratulations. If you want, if you and, want uh, a woman. Black nation building. Let's keep it strong. Okay. Yeah. Keep it going, I'm family. I'm willing to have that's 20 it, more children. That's what it's about. If I can have 20 more children, believe me, I would have 20 more children. Okay, I would. But at my age, I think I can probably produce maybe three or four or five more. Yeah, but but here's the deal. If a woman is to produce children like that, you gotta work out. You gotta work out, okay? You can't think that you could just keep producing babies and you're not working out and stuff get to falling all over the place because how are you gonna still be attractive in your husband's eyes, in your man's eyes? How? He's attracted to, you know, some tight stuff, you know? So you gotta get it right.
You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm tight, 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 but I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? It's enough to make you scream. Yeah, I wish I could get the opinion of the person mm -hmm. to the left, but this is this is a one uh, camera view. And again, this is raw and uncut. Raw and uncut. So hey, for those who can't handle the truth, again, you know what to do. Well, even if you're not ah. on, maybe you want to respond. <laughs> He got what he came for. When he saw me at Paloma, the first day he said, I'm gonna give you a baby and I'm gonna marry you. Wow. The first day. The first day, I didn't even, I didn't even know this guy from nowhere. Wow. He just told me this. Everybody probably wanted and to And I this looked at him is. like he was crazy, but he's successfully fulfilled what he came for. Wow. Yes. Was that your mission? He has something right here in the belly, okay? He had a tough shot and not miss. So, yo, I may touch the road and he was like, yo, today, before the, you know, before the day ends, I'm going to have the sweet blade by my side. So, yeah. So, what you going to do? Wait, wait. I knew definitely I was going to meet my real partner, you know, at this conference, and it happened exactly so. Yeah, I was able to point and say, oh, this What conference? This Ministry of the Future Conference? Yeah, Ministry of the Future Conference. Uh -huh. and, and what day was that? And Samir and Kuma was a speaker, so I wanted what to What day was that? Samir. What day was that? It was 28th December, uh -huh. 2020. Yeah. Samir and Kuma was a speaker, so I, was, uh, I wanted to meet her. Actually, we had communicated with her. But you know, um, I met her, fortunately, I met her, you know, just at the entrance. She was in the car park and went to see her earlier before her. I met this beautiful woman. And I want to talk to her, and she also want to talk to me. So, yo, it's like, yo, I'm already even closer to my dreams because I want to talk to her. And she's not making it difficult. And, and to my surprise, she even wanted to be lengthy, so if we can talk after the end of the program. So we, for the rest of the program, I'm like, yo, who is she? And I'm trying to read into her. And I realized, yo, she, she's like my kind of perfect she, She's got it. She's got all I want. Talk of the groups that and his. Everything and I'm like, yo. So I, after the show, I, I can't, you know, beat around the bush. I just went straight to the point that um, I, I'm, I'm aging. Actually, I, I'm, I'm not growing younger. You know, I don't have any baby. Uh, I wish I could make a baby, and even if one. It's like, oh, I can even give you two or three. Somebody who was like, yo, I'm in my 40s, but I can no more make babies because my womb is tired. But this one, she's willing to give me a baby. I like her. I really love her. So. Say it louder. Yeah, you you, you she, like me or you love me? I love her. She wants to give me a baby, so why not? Okay, so you met somebody that was in their 40s and they couldn't give you children? Yes. And then when you met me, whose womb is still open, yes. you just went for it, huh? And you, were, uh, you have a three-year-old. Uh, my son is four. He yeah, forgot. By then he was three. Yeah, at that time he was three, but he just turned four in February. Yeah. So, but, yeah. And you know, actually, if you want somebody, you do everything possible to make it work. And that's exactly what I did. You know, because I was like, yeah, we can work it out. And I, I see true love, so uh, like I don't want to mess it up. Trust me, true love. It's to the point to where when you have a young, fine-ass husband and you know all these women want him, you got to work with that, girl. You got to work with it because uh, I'm telling you, it's natural for a man to attract beautiful women. It's natural. So when these women come, just let your husband know, babe, just, we just need our bills paid. You know, we, we, we need a car. We need stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it 100. You know, pimping ain't easy, but somebody got to do it, okay? Gosh.
<laughs> it's crazy. It's not like I guess you guys have said enough, so is that is that a wrap? So far it is. <laughs> he said a handful. And all I gotta do is just keep directing the conversation back to just keep it 100. Women don't get mad when your man meet women. If he meets somebody, make sure they got some money to help y'all out. That's all I can say. And if it's only coochie, no, 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 no. That's your job to get him the coochie, right? That's why you gotta work out. Keep that booty tight, girl. Keep that booty tight for your man so you can shake it, okay? Peace.